Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today we're gonna to be talking about data encryption. Is it important? Is it not important? Why do I need it? So my name is Emilio and I work in the IT industry and today we are talking about data encryption. Having your data encrypted ensures that it's secure and that nobody outside of really you or the people that you want to be able to access that data can access it. Your computer contains a lot of data. It contains your files, it contains your documents, your pictures, anything that is precious to you. And if you are like me, you've probably got a password on your computer, or at least I hope you have a password, so that when you turn the, you know, the PC or the Mac, whatever on, uh, it prompts you for a password. That is great. All that really does is it protects um, somebody from trying to access your computer and log in, because they can't log in. Unless they're you, they can't log into your computer. But that is not data encryption. Your data is still in an unencrypted form. Now what I mean by this is if I grab your computer, if I open up your PC, if I open up your laptop, inside of it is a hard drive. It's a disk that contains all of your data. I can grab that hard drive out. I can get a USB case, which you can buy from any computer store, open it up, put that hard drive inside of the case, plug it into a PC, that is not your PC, and then that will show up on that computer as an external USB hard drive. Your data will be fully readable, fully accessible, without a password to have to get in. Because the password is only good if I can boot up into Windows or into my Mac. But if that hard drive is connected to a computer over a USB hard drive case, then you bypass that password altogether and I can read all of that data. So what encryption does is all of that data is encrypted, it is scrambled, so that if somebody wants to say steal your laptop or get into your computer, take your hard drive out, they can plug it into a USB case, plug it into a computer, and it will not be readable. You will not be able to see that data because that data is encrypted. So that's an overview about encryption and why you need it. It's very, very important. Now let's just talk about the software that you need. Now, if you're running Windows, if you're running Mac, or if you, even if you're running Linux, uh, these operating systems come built in with adequate encryption software that you can use on your data. So if you're running Windows, you've got some software that's loaded into Windows that you can access through the control panel called BitLocker. So here on Windows 10, I've just logged into my Windows 10 computer that we're going to be uh, configuring BitLocker. A uh, couple of things you could do is you could go via the control panel and find it within there or you can just click straight into the search and look for bit or bit locker. And uh, it's right here, manage bit locker. So it is accessible via control panel. You'll see that bit locker is currently turned off. So we're gonna turn bit locker on, essentially just scan your computer to make sure that it is eligible, that it meets the minimum requirements. And then it will ask you, where do you want to save or back up your recovery key? This is the key that's essentially going to be used uh, as it says, to access your files and folders if you are having problems unlocking your PC. So once all of your data is encrypted, if you need to decrypt that data, uh, then you need to have a copy of this recovery key. Now there's a couple of things you could do. You could save the recovery key to a particular file. Now you need to save your uh, recovery key into a place that is not on your computer. Essentially, if your drive is being encrypted, you can't save it to that same spot. So you could save it to a network drive, you could save it to a USB stick, just save it to somewhere that uh, is going to be secure, that you will not lose, that can't get damaged. So if you do have a USB stick, perhaps save it to two USB sticks just in case. So I'm just gonna save it right there. It'll then acknowledge that that is being done, your recovery key has been saved. You then click on next, so there are two options. You can either encrypt only the used disk space right now or encrypt the entire drive. I generally recommend encrypting the whole thing. It will be slower, but it's going to ensure that every single piece of that hard drive is encrypted. Now it's very important that you select the correct option here. If you're running Windows 10, and in future you're gonna be running Windows 10 or a newer version of Windows 10, select new encryption mode. If you want to be able to read a drive, even if you're, say, you're encrypting a USB hard drive or you want to take the hard drive out of your computer and put it into a computer that is running, say, Windows 8, an earlier version of Windows, then you need to ensure that you say compatible mode, which is best for drives that can be moved from the device. So I would select option one if you are sure that you are going to be using this on a Windows 10 15.11 version or later. 
I would recommend running a BitLocker system check, making sure that you can encrypt the data and that the recovery key is working before you actually go and do that, all right? So click on that and then you select start encrypting. I'm not gonna do that right now because this is just for the demo, but that is BitLocker on Windows. Let's now just get onto a Mac and we'll show you how to do the Mac version of encryption. So logged into a Mac right here. So you need to open up system preferences, which I just have here on my dock. You can also access system preferences by going to the Apple logo on the top left and selecting system preferences. Within here, select security and privacy, which is right here. So we just wanna unlock our Mac. So we can actually go and do some changes here. And you see that File Vault essentially secures the data on your disk by encrypting its contents automatically. And it will be uh, encrypting my primary Macintosh HD. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Now it does give me a couple of options. First option here is allow my iCloud account to unlock it. And the second option is to create a recovery key uh, and do not use iCloud. So if you don't have an iCloud account, you can just do the recovery key. It'll download it and you can use that. My recommendation is to use an iCloud account. That way you can actually unlock it uh, from really from anywhere. And that's it from that perspective. So now it's starting to encrypt the data in the background. So that's it on the Mac and on the Windows uh, from an encryption perspective. There is other software that you can load onto your Windows, Mac, Linux computers for encryption of data. But the one that is actually built into your computer is actually quite good and does the job quite well. So when you do set this up for the very first time, every single file needs to be analyzed and encrypted. So it can take a little bit of time to ensure that all of your files are encrypted. You can actually do it overnight so that in the morning, all of your data is encrypted and you're good to go. So the important thing to remember is that once your data is encrypted, whatever the security method that you use, whether if it's a passphrase or it's linked to an account or you had to print out a code, whatever it is, you need to keep that secure. Make sure that you know where to find that code or you know you remember it, something, because if you lose that decryption code, then that data will be encrypted forever and it'll be very, very challenging for you to actually get that data back if you don't have that decryption code. That is my summary. Um, encryption is very, very important, very, very easy to set up, completely free and comes built in to most of the modern operating systems. Comment below, let me know your thoughts. If you found any, uh, any help with this, if you had trouble, let me know. Hopefully we can have a further dialogue and help you with that. But either way, I would love it if you like this video, subscribe to Digital by Computing and click on that notification bell to be up to date as I release new videos. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching again. We'll see you next time.